The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Moskova, da. We got here in the morning and um, checked in. I did my usual review of hotel rooms, ended up choosing the fourth one offered, but that's another story. And uh, then it was time for a bit of brunch and lunch. So I was off looking for a uh, lunch place for my first trip in Moscow, and um, which fortunately wasn't too far away from the hotel. However, I walked right past it. I didn't know where it was. I couldn't read the signs. It's all Cyrillic. Uh, this is going to be a challenge. And, um, and so we went to backup plan. A backup plan was uh, Cafe Pushkin. And um, so we wanted to go to the rooftop bar because we were all in our walking gear and it's all pretty casual. Sorry, just getting a bit distracted as we go by. Yeah, okay. And um, that's a common scene walking in Moscow. It adds to the dining experience. So, um, and the Medosaurus was uh, just about to turn over because they, they had a dress code. And dress codes don't really compute with vegging out because we just want to veg out where we want to and they should take us. However, the rooftop bar wasn't available, but the main restaurant uh, was available. We sat down. Our waiter was uh, beautifully tailored out in traditional gear. Well, it looked like gear from 100 years ago and um, he had excellent English. We were a bit more reassured. The menus came out and uh, we realised when the menus came out that uh, they were in for something a bit of a treat. Russian cheese and garlic bread and um, a cucumber sorbet. And while I'm watching you have um, black caviar, which is um, approximately 12 times more than my Have you done this before, Tom? Yes. <laughs> it looks mm. like it. <laughs> so now we'll do so again. And again. Until I run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> it may not take too many games. Yeah. I'm... Really looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> Look at that. Straight through the heart as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's edible. Mm. Either that or I've just chewed the metal. <laughs> oh, lovely. Where's the chips? I think it's somewhere. I think it's hiding under the fish. It may be in the fish. It doesn't matter. Do you think the fish fall in the chips? There's always a possibility. It looks like it's in the This is going to be delightful. For some places, when you ask for a vodka and tonic, you get vodka there and a little bit of tonic. And this is the place, when you ask for fish and chips, 
then you get the fish there and the chips there. And that is out of control. Totally out of control. Chips in your fish. Indeed. Go on, that is fish and chips. Chips in fish. Indeed. Aren't they delicious? Totally it shows the fish. Totally awesome. We were always going to eat there because the planning Janus in me was always going to make us eat there. But it just came unexpectedly soon and it was delightful. We loved it. It was up there. Quite delightful. For me, a, a mushroom too. A morel. It was beautiful. And um, so we were very, very happy with that experience and it's especially when we're just walking around and so we took a look through the rest of the restaurant a bit of uh, recon so we had a look at the rooftop bar which was quite lovely and at the mezzanine level and the library room and such a beautiful place it's been going on there for many years and many important meetings and liaisons must have occurred there magnificent so old russia i played the joker early we'd only just got in the city and I brought out the big one in part, as part of my dining planning for the city and uh, it was good. But to improve on it, it was going to be a challenge. So um, where did we go next? Well, a bit more wandering around town. There's a bit of a thing called a Kremlin, Red Square, St. Basil's Cathedral hanging around there. So we uh, wrap up the uh, journey, Beijing to Moscow, tonight, with a restaurant booked a month, two months in advance. Barbarians, the English translation, Varvary. It's in the top 50 restaurants in the world on the San Pellegrino restaurant ratings that come out yearly. Looking forward to it. I haven't told my fellow diners that it's, again, outdoor rooftop dining. I've selected the table. They know it's veg vegetarian degustation for me. They'll be having the meat degustation. We're not matching wines tonight, but I've seen a bit of uh, Petrus Pomerale for a few, or the odd 100,000 rubles. I don't think we'll be stretching it that far. A bit of mineral water to start off, but uh, looking forward to it. We're looking for the truffle experience tonight. That's what we're looking for, we're, that's what we're seeking. I've got the friends to do the dining with. We've got the rooftop dining, the uh, ambiance should match it. It's, um, it's on the square or near the square where there's the statue of Pushkin, which is where the Muscovites meet, where their first dates catch up. And um, for us, it'll be where our Trans-Siberian Railway ends with a little added on trip to St. Petersburg afterwards. So it's always important to end on a high. We're looking for that truffle. I hope we find it.